for the South Hadley uh, veteran, Vietnam Veterans Bridge Tour. And on this tour, I've, I've talked about the canal, the Riverside Park, the bridge itself, the dam, and the South Hadley, uh, the, the Hoyle Canal, and then come back. And now we want to talk about the neighborhood that it created here. Now, this neighborhood is South Hadley Falls neighborhood. It's in Massachusetts. And what you're looking at across the street is the South Hadley Town Hall. 100 years ago, plus when it was made, it was a joint high school and town hall. And so Hadley grew and grew. And by 1960, they built another uh, high school, and this is just the town hall. That's because the population exploded. You can see out front memorials to World War II, Korea, Vietnam. Inside are memorials to the World War I. The Civil War Memorial is in the center of town, so every war is represented in South Hadley. Now, this is kind of the, the base of South Hadley, of the town house here. So across the street, in this direction, you can see that there's a big field here. This is called the Beach Grounds. And here is a place where most of the big baseball and softball games take place. And you can, if you come out here from April until August, end of August, you'll see baseball games that actually on every field, but also, also soccer field. They used to have a waiting pool, they now have a spray park, and then beyond is a basketball court. In 1940, uh, an enormous wall was put up because of all the floods that happened in South Hadley Falls. So, so this area hasn't changed much, but it's a great place to walk around. Just beyond it is the South Hadley Falls Cemetery. And we're going to now go up to a house that I'm going to talk about to give you a representation of this one. Okay, this house that you're looking at here now is approximately uh, an 1830 house, so it's almost 200 years old, and it, it was made in the flats um, when they started adding amenities like electricity and water and sewers. This one was connected to it. In the year 1905, they dug, probably put in electrical wires, and when they dug the front yard at one of the corners, they found a Native American woman buried there. She's one of four Native Americans found in South Hadley, and that, that was the first one ever found in South Hadley. When, when they found her, her body was in a typical Native American adult fashion. She had, she had been buried with her legs horizontal and with her upper torso positioned vertically, and then encased with clay. So this house is very important to historians. Along the way, it became uh, the Knights of Columbus, and they were based there for a very long time. About five years ago, a uh, historical drum store here was put in place called Wood Weather Drum Store. In fact, my nephew owns that business and is based here. So what... <clears throat> What has taken place is that along the way it's always been historical. Historical residence and then institution and then now a business. And what they do here is restore, they restore old time drums that um, say they're making a movie and they want to have accurate drums represented in that movie. Well, they'll come here and ask if you have a drum that represents this style and for this drummer and if he has one to get some going. So he goes around the United States and builds them up. So the last thing I'm going to point out to you is that in the distance, you see a lot of things that the falls was in the past. The falls was always a place where it grew up on its own because of navigational canal. And it has a church you can see. That's the, that's the Methodist church. And he used to have a congregational church too. And 
Also on this road, just barely in sight, is the St. Patrick's Catholic Church. And so this has always been a place where a lot of residents, institutions have been located. So once you come over to Vietnam Veterans Bridge, there's a lot of things because it's built up into a true neighborhood, the South Hadley Falls, very distinct from South Hadley Center. So thank you for coming out and stop.